Love you No such thing No such thing as a life that's better than yours No such thing as a life that's better than yours Love you Listen to this video to the beginning to the end. If you live in Dallas, if you don't believe, if you don't live in Dallas, wherever you live, just listen to this video. Cause when I tell you they got me messed up, whoever it was got me messed up. So I'm out there looking at the dark of the night, eclipse, luna clips and stuff. And I'm over there like, oh, I'm trying to record and stuff. In the middle of me recording, literally my phone rings it's this number or whatever from frisco and i'm like who calling me from frisco like this grown man is on the other line and he sound kind of cute he got a little country accent so i was like hey how can i help you sir he's like hello i wrote his name down y'all this is officer ben supak I didn't want to laugh at the name just in case he was an officer. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be taken to jail because I laughed at him. But he was like, this is Officer Ben Sukat Pat. Um, badge number 71253. And, I, and he was like, um, we are calling you from the police department because you had a failure to appear in a court. And we have a warrant out for your arrest. However, if you come down here, then we can go ahead and up the arrest and just let you know it will be a fine. A warrant for my arrest? Let me find out I'm getting locked up and only been out here seven, seven months. I'm locked up, don't let me out. Let me say it. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm the girl that I don't want to, I don't like cops. I don't like. I, I, don't, I don't like handcuffs. I don't like anything that's going to pertain me to be detained, if you know what I mean. I pay all my parking tickets. Amen. So he was like, yeah, on February 13th, we um, had a federal package sent to your, I mean, um, a certified letter sent to your house. And you signed it so you could report to the, the jury duty uh, March six and because you didn't show up you're holding up um the case it is a very important prestigious case i said well can't they do the case without me he said no we gotta wait for you what it's okay okay i felt important i felt important so i i stayed on the call i said he said well let me give you a reference number f2a eight five six Two nine C O C. It was it was long. Now this is the funny thing about it is when I repeated it back to him twice, he said yes on every single one. I purposely changed the number just to see would he agree or disagree to what I said. <laughs> got he, <laughs> got he. But he got tricked. So the first thing I thought after that was like this man is trying to scam me. But what about this is really Officer Ben Sugar Pack? Shuka shuka pack. What about this is? Bad shuka pack. And so he said, we need you to get down here ASAP. Now, I ain't gonna lie. It scared me a little bit. He, the man gave my my phone, my my name, my address. And I was I was like, this gotta be real. But this gotta be fake. So I was just like, you know, like you have that, that thing in the pit of your stomach. Like this something is something ain't right. So... I, I googled the number he called. Like, why I'm on the phone with him? I'm investigating because I'm an investigator. Like, I'm when you dealt with a man that cheated on you for years, you learn to investigate. You will learn some stuff. So as I'm on the phone with him, I'm I'm typing in Ben Shupak. Now, Ben Shupak, the only sham Ben Shupak that popped up on my phone was a Caucasian man. And the man on the phone sounded like he was African-American. So I said, that was red flag number one. I said, nah, just keep on. So when he gave me his badge number, I typed in the badge number, and it didn't exist. 
He kept saying we're gonna do a make a make and maintain contact. He said that he said call he said stay on the phone until you get in the car. We cannot disconnect the call from you until you you get to the, the off the place and there will be a person that will approach you and then you'll pay a fee, you'll sign some documentations. I said, what in the pit, the door they explore? Swipe for no swiping they trying to do. They trying to swipe my money. All I heard was that we we going to con you. We going to set you up. And we going to take your money and hold you for ransom. And I'm too pretty to be held for, held, held for ransom. So I said, hmm. I said, well, can I? He said, well, once you do that, I'm going to put my assessor on the phone. I said, well, go ahead and put your assessor on the phone so I can talk. Because I said, I'm, I'm super confused. I don't know what's going on. He said, well... Don't hang up or we're going to put a, a warrant out for your arrest. I said, well, can you put the assessor on the phone? Because I need more details. This is a little confusing. Tell me why. Two minutes later, he hung up the phone. Literally, click, call him back. It was like a red, like you called your man. Like, do, do, do. A whole voicemail. Like, what? They, when you call the police all people back, you it don't sound like that. All I'm saying is if you in Dallas... Don't, don't, don't fall for this. When I called the police department, they said this was a fraud. This was a scam. Don't believe this at all. So make sure if you have somebody call you and they talking about some Fugazi stuff, even if they got your information, don't believe it. Ugh. Love yours.